Hey everybody, Daniel here from Basement Tech. When I find something fascinating, I like to pass that along to you all. So put this in that category. What you see in front of you is actually the insides of what used to be inside this. So this is the plug part of a multi-outlet plug strip that had a GFCI um, breaker in the plug part of it. So it was housed here and this is the guts of that and if I put it in a little profile you get an idea of what's going on here. I thought maybe just a little um, tour of what's in here might be uh, as uh, interesting to you as it was to me. Some of the components are obvious and others um, maybe not so obvious. One big surprise which I'll reveal a little later. So GFCI breakers in general attempt to um, measure a difference in current between the the two conduct between the two conductors and it, it assumes if there is a difference in current that that current is flowing through an undesirable perhaps unsafe path like a human being and stops the power flowing so this little device and this is where maybe you know electrical engineers and the astute among you um, uh, can obviously see like I did what's going on here there are two major components which I think contribute to that um, the behavior of the GFCI outlet. First you have to sense the difference in current. That's done by this little toroidal transformer here. It has a probably carbon-based core that concentrates and amplifies, if you will, the um, magnetic uh, uh, flux in, in the core. And then there's a secondary coil, and if you look at the bottom you see a couple, uh, not that one, but perhaps these out here. Um, you see that secondary coil comes out, and that's the uh, sensed current. Well, since both conductors pass through, if, there's, uh, if the current is the same in both, it kind of cancels each other, 180 degrees out of phase, perhaps. Um, and if there is a difference, then a little bit of current flows in the secondary of this toroidal transformer. It's probably amplified through some of these components, and that's where maybe the second... Here's a little electromagnetic solenoid-based coil. Now a couple pieces are missing here, that the mechanical bits that, um, that caused that um, toroidal, or sorry, that uh, solenoid to, um, to move these contacts up and down. So when you press the, the reset button on the GFCI, these contacts are made and probably locked in place by some of the mechanical parts that perhaps uh, were broken. And when that, um, that imbalancing current causes a flow through that uh, solenoid, perhaps it unlocks and opens up those contacts, as you can see, and no current flows. Pretty fascinating, if you ask me. Um, one thing that was surprising is... Uh, and an interesting discovery. What is this green wire? Well, the green wire passes multiple times through, and that, that gives a multiplying effect to whatever current it senses. Now, it connects back to what looks like a shield, and I thought, well, these kind of cables, these power cables are not normally shielded. But when I strip the conductors, lo and behold, they are shielded. So, um, the only thing I can guess that has to do with is maybe if there is a, um, a cut in this cable or a like, ridiculously large amount of electromagnetic interference, then some current might flow through that shield and, um, and uh, trip, trip this device. So that's pretty fascinating to me. Now I have an alternating theory going too. Maybe vote in the comments on which you think it is that um, somehow the, the lack of that shield was providing spurious trips of this uh, GFCI. And somehow, and I don't understand how, somehow the, um, having that uh, shield conductor pass through here maybe cancels out some noise and makes this less prone to uh, trips. Anyway, I thought you might find this as fascinating as I did, a quick look inside this 
very compact uh, GFCI uh, breaker device. If you have experience with these and or just comments or you want to say, hey Dan, you are completely wrong, um, do that in the comments below. I'd love for a fascinating conversation to begin regarding this device. Um, if you like these kind of things or rotary phase converters or ESP32 free RTOS videos, definitely subscribe to the channel and we can have some fun conversations. Thanks. Talk to you soon.